Hello techies. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to work with launch new browser and close web browser actions. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to work with create a new tab action as part of browser automation. Before that, why we need browser tab in the browser? Let me go to the Chrome and then I'm going to simply going for the URL that is google.com and there you can see on the topmost there you can find new tab that is browser tab. Why we need this browser tab? Browser tabs are designed to make navigating through an application much easier by allowing you to quickly jump between two different pages. With multiple browser tabs open, you can have multiple websites open at the same time within one browser. Each open website will appear as a tab at the top of your browser window. Correct? This makes it much simpler for you to find the information you need and keep track of where you are at the given application. Right? The same thing we are going to do in the Power Automate desktop in the browser automation. Let me switch back to the Power Automate desktop. Now, I have already used launch new Chrome. Now, to make you understand, I'm going for the website that is happybots.in in the browser. And then you can see I'm having one more page over here, such as home, about, RPA tutorials, sponsors, and contact. Along with that, you are having the YouTube channel. Now, what I have to do, I'm going for the contact over here. If you see over here, in the same page, it is navigating to contact page. Now, what I want to do, I want to open this in some other page or some other tab. I'm just going to click on right click and then I'm going to click on open in a new tab. Now you can see I'm going to open happybots.in at the same time for the contact page I'm going to open in a new tab. So that what will happen we can easily switch from one page to another page over here in the same application. Right and also we can have the multiple websites. I have just given an example over here but you can open at the same time in the multiple tabs for different websites. Right, the same kind of thing I'm going to implement in Power Automate Desktop. All right, now as the first action, I'm going to use Launch New Chrome. Let me double click on that, and then if you see the parameters over here, Launch Mode, I'm going to give Launch New Instance. There you can see I'm having attached to running instance also, but right now I'm going, I'm not going to use that. And the instant URL, I'm going to give www.happybots dot in and the window state i'm going to give it as maximite and the advanced we can see clear cache clear cookies wait for page load i'm going to enable it timeout on page load 60 seconds i have given it these things we have already discussed in our previous session all right let me click on save now our website that is happybots dot in has launched by using launch new chrome now, what I have to I have to create a new tab. How can I go ahead and do that? There is one more action called create new tab. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. By using this create new tab, we can create a new tab in the browser and we can navigate to the given URL that will be supported in Microsoft Edge, Chrome and Firefox. This create new tab will not support for the Microsoft Internet Explorer. Okay, it will only support for the Edge, Chrome and Firefox. And now if you see the parameters, the first parameter is the web browser instance. What is the browser instance? There you can see from the launch new Chrome, I have created an instance that is browser. The same instance, I'm going to use it over here. And then now what I'm going to do, I'm going to navigate to contact page, right? I'm going to copy this URL. And then I'm going to give URL to navigate. I'm going to give the link that is HTTP happybots.in slash contact, right? And then if you see the advanced parameters, I'm having wait for page load. This is same as the parameters for the launch new Chrome, but I'm having no clear cache, nothing. So that I'm having only wait for page load and the timeout I have given it as 60 seconds. If pop-up windows occur, then I'm not going to do anything. I'm just simply going ahead and close it. All right, now let me click on save. Now, as the best practice, once we have launched a new Chrome, you're going to close the web browser. So if you're going to open any browser by using launch browser action, then you're going to close it, the browser by using close web browser action. Let me select that. 
and drag and drop onto the workspace. Now, if you see, by using close web browser, we are going to close the window. What is the web browser instance? That is browser which we have used it. Now, if you see over here, there are two options that I'm having. One is you can close the new tab as well as you can close the main browser. Now, for the time being, I'm just going to use new browser. That means whatever the tab you have created by using create new tab, I'm going to close that one. All right. Now, let me click on save. Now, let me explain once again the entire desktop flow over here. As a first step, I'm going to launch a new Chrome. And then in the URL, I have given it as www.happyboss.in. Now, as a second step, I'm going to open a new tab by using the action create new tab that is https happybots.in slash contact right and at the third step i'm not going to close the first browser instance at the second browser tab i'm going to close new browser which has been stored in the output that is new browser right now whenever you have opened it the entire browser window will not be closed only the particular tab will be closed all right let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started there you can see, as a first step, it launched the Chrome window. Once it has been loaded successfully, it will go for the second step, that is create a new tab in browser window. There you can see, as a first tab, it has been open HTTP colon happybots.in, and as a second step, it has been created happybots.in slash contact. Now, as a third step, it will close the web browser, that is the new tab which we have created, it will close that browser instance there you can see as the third step it has been closed the web browser that is new browser instance has been closed which we have created as a part of create new tab now as the fourth step we have not given to close the web browser that is which we have opened from the launch new chrome all right i hope you understand how to work with create new tab action as part of this tutorial.